has already brought me two frisbees, a goose, and I think he's getting something else. Let's see here. And his basketball. He <laughs> He's already brought me four toys, trying to entice me to play. <laughs> when I wanted to talk to you guys about Mr. Grant, yes, I guess I'm going to have to throw a frisbee. I'm guessing I'm going to have to throw a frisbee so I can talk about Mr. Grant. No? You don't want the frisbee? You want that. Frisbee. He'd rather play with his ball, I guess. <laughs> it's so hot, maybe. Do you really want to play? It's so, it's so hot and humid. Yes, it's so hot and humid. I guess that means yes. All right, let's kick him his ball. I got flip flops on, though, Miggy. It might hurt my toes. Let's go over this way. Go take it off the porch so you don't jump off the porch. He likes his orange ball over the new ball I bought him. Even though the new ball I can kick better. Well, that wasn't a very good kick. Okay, so I wanted to let you guys all know about Mr. Grant. Uh, Mr. Grant, I dropped him off at 8 o'clock this morning. Boy, he did not want to get up. He did not want to get up this morning with those uh, fear meds I had to give him last night and this morning. Um, my husband had to, um, they have beds in their crate that a subscriber, uh, Emily gave, sent for the boys, those orthopedic beds. But I always put a blanket on top of them too. So my husband just kind of slowly pulled him out with the blanket. <laughs> And he didn't move. He was awake. He just didn't move. He just let my husband just pull him out on the blanket. Uh, and uh, then my husband uh, carried him outside. I'm not quick. I can't kick very good with flip flops on, Miggy. Let me see here. No, I can't kick good with flip flops. I'm scared my flip flops going to fly in the air. <laughs> um. So, let me walk around. Maybe he'll, he'll stop bringing me that ball. Um, so, yeah, my husband brought him outside. And he got his wits about him. Went potty. Um, took him to the vet. He let me carry him in the vet. No muzzle on nothing. He just, he was just not caring about anything this morning. No. So, and they said he did great. He was easy to work with. Um with the medications we gave him beforehand and he was relaxed and fine and did great. Um, he ended up having to lose six teeth. Four of them were in the very front. I think she said on the bottom, which is very common in smaller dogs to lose those front teeth because they don't use those front teeth um, anymore, you know, for digging at and gnawing at things uh, since they eat kibble or canned food, um, regular food. They're not tearing up dead animals to eat, is what I should say. Um, so, Miggy doesn't have any of his front teeth. Uh, Max doesn't have any of his front teeth. And I believe Mozzie and Marley both have some in the front missing as well, but I think they still have a couple left. Um, so, so she noticed um, he's actually missing seven teeth. There was a tooth gone, missing. Um, I can't remember where she said it was located, but, uh, so that either happened on a previous dental, dental he had with his previous owner, or it may have just fell out. She said one of the teeth she pulled out was barely hanging on. It just popped right out. So it's a good thing we got his dental done, but no abscess. No, uh, she said for his age, his teeth really, they look really good. So I'm so happy we got that taken care of. He has no problems in his mouth. Um, and he'll be doing great. Yes, he will. I got to pick him up at 2.30. And I've already got everything paid for. I want to say thank you to Timothy. It's so hot, Maggie. Are you sure you want me to kick it again? <laughs> it's so hot. It's so humid. Um, 
I already got everything paid for. Oh, I was saying thank you so much to Timothy who sent a donation towards Mr. Grant's dental on our PayPal last night. I got it. I saw it like at two in the morning because I woke up. I woke up at two and I woke up at five. Could not sleep <laughs> thinking about taking Mr. Grant's because even though I know everything's be fine, I still worry. Um, and I don't, I never sleep good uh, the night before anything, any kind of procedures if my dog has to have, to have them. So um, thank you, Timothy, for the generous jo donation uh, to help with Mr. Grant's dental. We really appreciate it. Oh, and I also got a gift from Susan today in the mail I want to share with you guys when we go in. All right, Maggie, I got to clean up landmines. I got to clean up your landmines before we go get Mr. Grant. Yes, I do. All right, guys, we'll be back. Okay, I wanted to say thank you to Susan for sending me a new muzzle for Mr. Grant. This is called a basket muzzle. This is what, uh, I believe it was the last video I was talking about that I had a mesh muzzle. It's at the vet right now with Mr. Grant, but I showed it in the last video. And I was saying that since the mesh muzzle was still open in the front, he could still sometimes get you with his front teeth and um, pinch your skin. So they had put a basket muzzle over top of that mesh muzzle <laughs> when they had to do his blood work um, uh, last week on Friday. So Susan sent me this basket muzzle and she said, Hi Kim, have used a lot of muzzles on our Schnauzer boys over the years with rescues, etc. This one is great. Comfortable, but does the job. Hope it helps Mr. Grant from Susan. So thank you so much, Susan. I have not tried it on Mr. Grant yet, but I tried it on a couple of the other boys who were like, what in the world are you putting on my face? <laughs> it's so funny. The only one that was kind of loose on was Milo. He's a little smaller than the rest of the boys, so he would probably need a smaller size, but I think this is gonna fit Mr. Grant perfect because it fits uh, Mozzie and Miggy perfectly. So thank you so much, Susan. Um, this should help. Uh, when I'm having to groom his legs and have to give him a bath. So thank you so much. It's by, um, let me get the piece of paper. Um, she got it off the Amazon. It's by Downtown Pet Supply. It's called the Basket Muzzle, like I said. And um, it's a size three, fits snouts, size nine in circumference. So if you find it on Amazon, you probably it probably has a sizing chart on there so you can um, size your dog's muzzle to figure out what size you need. But if you have a schnauzer about the size of my boys who are all up between like 18 to 21 pounds, this should fit them. So I'll link it down below too in the description box. Um, so thank you so much, Susan. All right, I gotta clean up my mess. I gave. Uh, Milo and Magnum a bath because I'm going to try to get them groomed today as long as everything goes okay with Mr. Grant. I'm assuming he's just going to sleep probably the rest of the day. So I'm going to get them groomed and I washed everybody's else, everybody else's faces uh, until I get them groomed. So yeah, that's what I'm doing today. All right, we'll see you in a bit when I get Mr. Grant. All right, Grant's home. I put him in his house. I let him go to the bathroom. Really? Really? I put him in his house so the boys wouldn't mess with him because he's still really wobbly. And I know they'll sniff him. I know they'll sniff him up and down. They're wondering where he's been. Um, out of it and really wobbly so I don't want him knocking him over and messing with him too much so um, yeah so he's home he's doing good he's a little glassy eyed <laughs> they gave him a pain pill to come home with but I don't have to start it till tomorrow morning it's a quarter tablet Starts with an R. Rovera, I think it was called. I think I think that's usually what they give all the boys when they have dental if they have extractions. So yeah, so Grant's home. They actually carried him out. No muzzle on. Um, so he's pretty well still uh <laughs> He's still out of it. I'm 
all the pain meds and stuff. So, uh, all right, guys, we're going to, um, I got a groom Mozzie, or not Mozzie, um, uh, Magnum here and Milo still today. And then I got to groom some more boys the rest of the week. So I probably won't have another video till, um, Friday or Saturday. Cause I got it. I got some stuff I got to get done. Um, so, but just wanted to let you see that Mr. Grant is home. He's doing good. He's just, he's just out of it and needs to sleep it off and he'll be back to his old self tomorrow. Yes, he will. All right, guys, we'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye.